everybody, once again, Scorpio Cesar here to bring you another unboxing from the SH Figure Arts Ultraman line. And like I said in my last unboxing for the Rosso and Blue Wind and Ground, wow, I am getting fatigued from this line, yet I am excited at the same time because I bring to you Ultraman Zero. And Ultraman Zero is one of the best, very beloved character in the series and one hell of a badass. And we finally got his base form in a SH Figure Arts release. Ultraman Belial, I'm looking at you, you're coming next. Anyways, on the packaging, you get a really nice image of Ultraman Zero himself, looking all cocky and badass, almost reminiscent of the Ultraman X box. And you get some blues with some reds and some blacks going on here. You get the logos down there, the Tamashii Nation seal of quality sticker as well. On the top, nothing really to see that you haven't seen already. On the sides, nothing really much to see there. And on this side, you get the nice photoshopped image of the figure's promotional art. And on the back, once again, you get all the promotional shots of the figure that they use to promote the figure. And it looks great and everything, but we're here to unbox this guy and that's exactly what we're gonna do. And of course, don't forget the window packaging on the front showing Ultraman Zero off. For those of you who are interested in seeing what he looks like, thank God this is not a Tamashi Web exclusive. This is a general release, which means that Bluefin shall be distributing this, hopefully, in the States. Now let's get this guy open. And with EMS shipping, I bought him on Nippon Yasan. Yes, I hate dealing with that website sometimes, in most cases. But I got him for around, did I do a crease free? Yes, crease free, for the most part. I got him for around, I'm gonna say $60 with EMS shipping after pre-ordering him. He wasn't that much. He was around the 3,700 yen mark, so it wasn't that bad when he was originally announced up for pre-orders. If you try to buy him in the States, I believe Big Bad Toy Store has him for around 49 to 59.99. Not exactly sure, gotta double check on that. But anyways, here are the instructions, of course, showing you all the optional hand pieces. Looks like he comes with a nice, decent range of hands, as well as some optional swappable pieces and how to, well, get those on and off. That's cool, great, everything, wonderful. Put that back there. There are no advertisements in there. You get the holofoil background. Set that box aside. And you know what? It's actually quite funny because I was coming this close to picking up the Ultra Act Ultraman Zero release. When they announced this one, I, you know, I held off obviously because because one, the Ultra Act line is pretty much done. And well, this one looks pretty promising. So let's get him out of his plastic container and take a look and see what he's got. So the great thing about Ultraman Zero's release here is that he comes with a ton of accessories. He has the Ultra Zero bracelet right there. He has two heads, one with the Zero Sluggers already on and one with the Zero Sluggers removed. The Zero Sluggers also come separately there as well as a combined version with the color timer that attaches to his chest. Not to mention he also comes with the Zero Twin Sword right there and a ton of different hands. So yeah, this guy's pretty stacked. We'll take a look at those better in the full review, which I do plan on doing soon, very soon. Not putting this one on the back burner. I'm sorry for that. Let's get him out and take a better look. I'm gonna got that out, pull him out, set the plastic aside, and wow, let's focus. All right, now that we got him out, let's uh, remove this plastic that's protecting his paint from chipping and all that good stuff. All right, we got the plastic removed that was protecting him, and let's just take a better look here. Ooh, yeah. Now, they went with a very nice chrome metallic paint for this release, and I'm so happy they did. It looked beautiful in the promotional shots, and it looks great in hand. And I'm glad they went with this route, rather than go with the more duller paint they used for the Ultraman Zero Beyond <laughs> release. And yeah, I have to still review that. I do apologize for the delay. But now that I got this guy, maybe I'll do that review too in the near future. I know I say that a lot, but I mean it this time, I swear. Thanks, uh... 
just checking out some of the joints. Everything seems to be checking out. Oh, punching yourself there, Zero. Easy. Uh, trying to see. Okay. Get it good. Oh, detached him at the waist. Not good. My bad. I kind of ham fisted that. Oh, God, I kind of asked for that. My bad. Ooh. All right, pop the back in. All right, checks. Got a good range of movement here. But of course, we're gonna take a better look at him and all his accessories in the actual review. This was just a quick unboxing for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and are looking forward to the review. Yeah, are you planning on picking up Ultraman Zero? Let me know in the comments if you are. And hit the like button, maybe subscribe. And once again, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you in 20,000 years. Ciao.